everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today. I'm going for overall win number 922. It's my first time in Southwest Florida. I am here with my friend, Jack Diamond. He's actually done quite a few challenges with me over the years. We are here in Cape Coral, Florida, which is near Fort Myers. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> first time at Amore Italian Bakery and Market, we're taking on their amazing looking, the Tour of Sicily Challenge. We've got all this deliciousness. We've got three of their sandwiches, Parmesan sandwiches. We've got on the bottom a meatball Parmesan, which also has salsiccia on it. And then we've got some healthy fried eggplant Parmesan. And then on top, we've got a chicken Parmesan, which has their homemade broccoli raw. And then on top, we've got these two. I've never even really heard of or had them before, but they are Sicilian rice balls. And inside, there's like ooey gooey cheese, there's healthy peas, and then I think there's some beef or something like that, but I'm excited to bite into these. And then around this massive tower of sandwiches, we've got a little bit less than a pound of their homemade red penne pasta. So we've got 45 minutes to finish everything here. If we fail, it's gonna be $85. But if we win, we'll get our meals free, we'll get sweet t-shirts, and we're hoping to have the first two pictures and our names up on the wall of fame. Are you ready, Jack? I'm ready. All right, let's get this challenge started. All right, I started off our February Florida tour with a boom last night up in Sarasota. Jack, you ready to win? I'm ready. All right, big thank you to the Amore sisters and everybody here with Amore Italian Bakery and Market for having us in to get a tour of Sicily, but time to finally shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All right, I'm gonna start off with one of these rice balls. Okay, a lot of rice. And now the inside buried treasure. Mm. Beef, peas, wow. Wow, it's delicious. I'm gonna have this one later. I'm just gonna go down from top to bottom. I love chicken parmesan sandwiches, so this is gonna be good. All of this bread is baked fresh. It is Italian twist bread. It's New York style bread and I just heard him crunch into it and now I'm glad we have 45 minutes to finish all this. This homemade broccoli raw looked delicious when I was looking at all the foods they serve. They've got a whole bunch of gourmet Italian food to go and it's just as good as I thought it would be. Still under five minutes in, love that chicken parmesan sandwich, now it's time for some eggplant. All of this mozzarella cheese is amazing on this sandwich too. Doesn't look too hard when you look at the photos, but once it's sitting here and you actually bite into it, this is definitely a challenge. Mm. 
Good? Very good. Savoring the flavor. I was thinking this was gonna be like a scotch egg or something, but I was way wrong. Same principle as far as wrapping stuff inside, but I think this actually might be a little bit better. The rice is awesome, and then everything inside, I love cheese, so mm, mm, mm. All right, time for the meatball parmesan. This also has a bunch of salsiccia or Italian sausage here. I'm gonna have some of this before I bite into the sandwich. All of the red marinara sauce is soaked into the bottom bun, so I'm excited about that. This should go down okay. And I love meatballs, so let's dig in. I'm excited to hear what the man of many words over here has to say about it. <laughs> He's smiling, that's new. I don't have the time now to talk like him. I have to just eat. Crazy thing is, he's actually still playing hockey. That is awesome. I haven't played an organized sport in forever, so I've got to give him credit. I don't have good enough insurance to hurt myself. What's your favorite so far? Eggplant or chicken? Not once for chicken, twice chicken. for Parmesan. Chicken. Chicken. chicken, okay. I'm actually gonna say eggplant. sandwich and then it's domination time. This pasta is going to go down nice. All right, 19 minutes, 10 seconds in. It's time to finish off all this red penne pasta. Is it good? Hmm. All of it. Might have to go stop by the market and see what they got else. I think I'm good on Parmesan, but they've got all kinds of cookies here. They looked amazing. Katina's here helping with the filming. What are you going to order after this? All the things. Good? Oh, uh -huh. definitely amored this challenge. Ah. 23 minutes and 14 seconds was my time, so it's a new record to beat. But remember, you've got 45 minutes to finish. Jack still has plenty of time. He's almost done with the sandwich and everything, and then just has this Sicilian rice ball. But while he's doing that, and we're all cheering for him, I have never had cannoli cake, and I am absolutely pumped. So we are gonna bring this over here. Okay, so this is the original, and we're gonna have this. Are you gonna have any cake? I don't think so. Okay. You never know. Somebody, somebody I know might have two. I have never bitten into cannoli cake. Amore Italian Bakery and Market, they've got so much in there. I was looking through all the food. Loved all the cookies, they looked amazing. Everything's gourmet, Italian, Sicilian inspired, but let's bite into this. 
That will not be my last time having cannoli cake. The filling come out here, right? Oh yeah, this is good. I just end up chewing too much at the end of mm. challenges, you know? No, I've never had anything like it. Closest thing would be like a wasabi or whatever the heck it is. What's that Hawaiian thing? What's the Hawaiian thing with the rice? No, spam wasabi? Like almost if that was fried or something? And what is this? A butter cookie with sprinkles. Come on, Jack. Jack! You got this! <laughs> Trying to see how long he's going to take, I might have this other piece of cake. Take your time, you got it. Oh, I know that. Get up. <laughs> Walk it off. Jack, you got it. Ah! He just said that the rice ball was delicious and then he loved the chicken parm. I love chicken parm and I enjoyed the meatball with the salsa, but I've got to give it to the eggplant. I thought that was delicious. But 100% of the people that have tried this thing have dominated. So if you want to check it out, or even if you don't want the challenge, but you just want some delicious Sicilian, Italian inspired food, Amore Italian Bakery and Market here in Cape Coral, Florida, near Fort Myers in Southwest Florida. Big thank you to, of course, Jeff. Big thank you to the Amore sisters and everybody here with Amore Italian Bakery and Market in Cape Coral, Florida. For me, it was overall win number 922. Thank you guys for watching. Woo!